Hello, my fashion lovers. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today, we'll be looking at how to draft the princess that bustier. This is the simplest method you can ever use to draft a princess that bustier. Please join me as I show you the simplest method of cutting princess that bustier. As a beginner, as an advanced learner, you can always use this method to draft your princess bustier. And I can assure you that you cannot have any issue when you're drafting your princess that. Please join me on this um, tutorial. Let's go to the cutting table. Thank you. To draft our armhole princess that we make use of our ruler, our scissors, tape, marker, and our curve ruler. I'm going to make use of this pattern paper because the fabric I'm going to cut it on top is not bright. So if I'm going to mark on it, you won't see what I'm marking. So I'm going to make use of this pattern paper. So before we start, we just rule out our line, rule out our line, the beginning of the pattern paper where we are going to start and we're going to take our measurements but first of all we're going to draft our basic bodies pattern before we go into the princess that to begin with the shoulder i'm working with is 80 shoulder 80 when you divide it by two when you divide it by two we have nine inches plus half inch sewing allowance and whatever i have here whatever i have here i'm going to take it down as my ample length i have nine here nine and a half here i'm going to take it down as my ample length with this method we can never get it wrong. I'm going to take my ruler and pull it out. And for the neck, for the neck, For the neck, I'll be taking three and a half inches. You can take four, you can take five. I'll be taking three and a half inches as the width. And for the length, I'll be taking also three and a half inches. If you want to go down, but if you want to take four, five, six, you're free to take, depending on what you're working with. I'm going to take my one inch one inch shoulder slant i'm going to connect it to the neck still on our basic bodies pattern from here i'm going to get the midpoint i'm going to get the midpoint of this ample and our midpoint is four three quarter four three quarter and i'm going to come in by 0 0.75 to avoid excess fabric on the front of your dress to avoid excess fabric i'm going to connect To connect the down parts, I'm working with the first measurement of 45 and a half. When you divide it, it will give you 11 three quarter. To give you 11 three quarter, I'll mark it here. 
package said then connect it to this connect it to this place our basic bodies pattern for my bust point for my bust points i'm taking this is our chest line the bust points our bust points is 12 inches the under bust i'm making use of is 14 and a half and the waist is 16. i'm going to add one inch sewing allowance which will make it 17. we're going to relax our line This is the chest line, the chest line, the bust line, the under bust, and the waist line. And we're going to take our nipple to nipple measurements. We're going to take our nipple to nipple measurements. The nipple to nipple measurement I'm working with is nine. You divide it by two. Nipple to nipple measurement is nine. When you divide it by two, it will give you four and a half. Then you add half an inch for joining allowance. That will make it five. If you have seven, divided by two. If you have eight, divided by two. Then add your half inch joining allowance. Very important. And we connect this line to this, to the middle of this place. Connect it. Power that. Power that. I'm working with a very big bust, 45 inches. So I'll be taking half a uh, two two inches here. On the bust, I'll be taking two inches. The same with the waist, two inches. And coming to this side, I will take one inch on this side. And also one inch on this side and I'm going to connect because I'm working with the big boss uh, person 45 and half I'm going to from this bust point I'm going to come down by half an inch one and half I'm going to come down by one and a half and go up by one and a half. I'm going to go up by one and a half and connect it. If you're working with a small boss, you can go up by one inch and come down from the boss point, come down with one inch. But here, yeah, the person boss is big. So I went up by one and half and you connect this side. I'm going to make use of my formula to connect. From this point, I will come down by half inch and go up by, I'll come down with by one inch and go up by one inch. Come down by one inch at the middle where your point is, come down by one inch and go up by one inch and connect to this point, connect it to this point.
connect to these points. For this place, whatever we deducted from here, that is, we came down by one and one inch here, we're going to add it. That is two inches. But I'm going to make it two and a half. I'm going to make it two and a half. It's better to have excess than to have shortage. It's better to have excess than to have shortage. So that's where you want to join. When you want to join to your pattern, you won't have shortage after joining. You won't have shortage after joining. All right. The bust I'm working with to take our measurements, the bust I'm working with is 45 and a half. When you divide it by four, you always divide by four. You have 11, three quarter. I'm going to mark it here, mark it here, and also take our joining allowance of two inches. And I'm going to take my sewing allowance of two inches. The other bust I'm working with is 42. Where you divide it, it will give you 11, divide it by four, it will give you 11. And I'm going to, these three inches, I removed two here, removed the pawn here. I'm going to add, it's making it three inches plus two inches sewing allowance. And for the waist, the waist I'm working with is 45. That is divided by four. You have 11 and three quarter. I'm going to mark this three inches. I'm going to deduct going to add it here plus two inches sewing allowance i'm going to connect And for our new armhole, for our new armhole, this is going to be our new armhole. This is going to be our new armhole. We're not making use of this again. We're making use of it. So this, so that when you join your fabric, you won't have any shortage if you have any question please ask in the comment section and right now we are going to cut Before you cut, make sure that this place is tall. Make sure that this place, make sure that you sharpen it up. Make sure it's tall. Sharpen it up to avoid pointy edges. Make sure you sharpen it up. Where you're cutting the 
careful. Make sure you don't have any pointy edges. And for this one, you cut it out. And when I join, when I join, the beauty will come out. Please, if you have any question, if you have any question, go to the comment section and ask your questions. Go to the comment section and ask your questions, please. And if you want to drag to the back, you can even use your basic body spatter to drag to the back. Or you can drag to your princess that at the back. Thank you very much. Please like, share, subscribe, and like my video. Thank you very much. <laughs>